Good evening. South Australians are being warned the effects of the wild weather are not over yet. Two days of heavy rain, flooding and gale-force winds left around 1,000 properties without power and there's now the ongoing danger of falling trees. Adelaide's wettest January in almost 40 years as gale-force winds of more than 110 kilometres an hour pummeled parts of the state. Just one week after a severe thunderstorm tore through the city. Normally in January we don't get uh, very much rainfall. But Adelaide received almost twice its average monthly rainfall over the past two days alone. Today, dozens of state emergency service crews still cleaning up the mess. I didn't expect to see a tree on the ground. I thought it was a pretty solid tree. SES crews attending to more than 130 jobs yesterday. The low pressure system hit the city's southern and eastern areas hardest. We had uh, a couple of businesses who were getting water uh, through the premises which was affecting their operations and we had houses who were getting water through their roofs. The SES sounding a warning. After the rain and the recent hot weather, trees like people will be stressed and there is a possibility that they can still fall down. The city given a very early taste of winter, with the maximum temperature of 18.6 degrees making it the coldest January day in close to a decade. The wet weather expected to greet us more often over the next few months. February through to April is, we're expecting rainfall, if anything, to be uh, slightly above average. And Tracy Alexander joins us live from Henley Beach. And Tracy, what can we expect for the next few days? Well, Will, it's currently pretty windy down here at Henley Beach, but it's back to clear skies and mostly dry conditions, but not for long. We should expect to see some more rain as tropical cyclone stand currently lashing Western Australia passes through the west of our state on Monday. And while that system will have diminished significantly by the time it reaches South Australia, we should still expect to see another burst of wind and some cloudy skies as it passes across Adelaide on Tuesday. But, Will, nothing like what we've seen over the past few days. Yeah. Indeed. Thanks very much, Tracy.